Hi, so I thought I would just uh, give a little walkthrough for this game that I made this past weekend in the Global Game Jam. It's called Geometry World, and you play this little robot moving with the arrow keys, he jumps. He lives in a little graph paper world, and uh, he can move around on lines and kind of go wherever he feels like going. Um, so yeah, this movement is a bit strange. It's not very intuitive that you don't stay on the line as you're going on it. Um, we added in the ability to have two lines on the screen very late in the process. So one easy way of trying to make sure you were either on one line or the other line and colliding with them was uh, to decide the robot was either on the upper line or the lower line and just make sure that as he was falling, he would only collide with either the upper line or the lower line. But that means if he starts on the upper line, he stays on the upper line. Um, so that's kind of one quirk. It just came out of the fact that we were writing this physics engine completely from scratch. Um, so yeah, so we are a little robot who collects stars. When the stars are collected, then you get a little uh, story coming up here at the top. I tried to write the story to sort of reflect the theme of the jam, which was we see things not the way they are, but the way we are. And I thought that was pretty applicable to mathematics. So uh, to actually use the game mechanics, game mechanic is that you have these lines that are on this graph paper. And these lines have an equation that you might see in your high school geometry math class. Click on either line, they have different equations. You can see this is a slope of the line, here's the y-intercept. And you can just grab these cards from the side and drag them into the either the slope or the y-intercept uh, attributes in order to change them with the line. So you can change lines around. Come on, go up. There we go. Uh, got the star. So, I'm really proud of this game. Uh, we made it from scratch in JavaScript, which was, to me, a really big deal. Oops! Just keep on going with the story. There's many solutions to this particular little puzzle. Uh, uh, so that's really all there is to it. I really like this mechanism of having a platformer where you actually alter the world itself. And uh, I think I think as an educational game, this is fairly effective. Um, I mean, I'd have to test and investigate further before I can say anything for certain. But I, I think it, I think it's uh, achieved the goals of not being just a glorified flashcards game. There's really uh, these goals that you want to achieve, and uh, motivation for figuring out how to manipulate lines using slope and y-intercept in order to achieve your goals. Um, so I, I, I think it was a fairly successful game at being uh, educational but also interesting to play. Um, and the writing was fun too. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to showcase this a bit and walk through the entire game. And uh, I hope you'll go play it and tell me what you think.